Hey guys and welcome to Tarkov News. If you'd like to see the unofficial patch notes, in the top link of the description is our Discord link and in our Discord there is a channel called Unofficial Patch Notes. Just to remind you guys, if I do talk too slowly for you, there is a cogwheel down the bottom right hand corner of this video where you can change my speed to 1.5 times to speed me up. Starting off with barter changes. And starting off with proper tier 3. The AS Vow has been changed from 4 GM counters and 4 MREs to now requiring 4 GM counters and 5 MREs. The, the Repair trade with Skier Tier 3 now requires Skier Tier 4 and it still needs the 4 Golden Clocks, the 4 Golden Rollers and the 4 Golden Skull Rings. On to Ragman Tier 3, the AVS requirement has been changed from 3 Toothpaste and 5 Shampoo to now requiring 5 Toothpaste and 7 Shampoo. On to Mechanic, Tier 3 for the Labs Keycard trade has been changed from 9 tubes of Pox Rearum Cold Welding to now needing 10. The Mechanic Tier 3 AK104 has been changed from requiring 2 Bitcoins to now needing 4 Bitcoins. And the Mechanic Tier 4 graphics card trade has been changed from 2 SAS drives and 2 SSD drives to now needing 3 SAS drives and 3 SSDs. And now on to new barter trades. So for 10 packs of chlorine with the Therapist level 2 you can now get yourself the West Wing Room 221 key. With one green battery and two D-sized batteries with Mechanic Tier 1, you can get yourself the B11 AKS-74U handguard. One Keck Tape and one Polymeride Fabric Cordora with Ragman Tier 3 can get you one Cowboy Hat. One Vase and three Chainlets with Skier Tier 3 can get yourself the Skeletonized AR-15 Pistol Grip. And one Cyclone, one Magnet and one Nixor with Mechanic Level Tier 2 can get yourself the MP5 SD. With these additions it should definitely make it a bit more easier doing your gunsmith tasks with Mechanic. And now on to new additions to the hideout crafting. And starting off with Lavatory Level 1. You can now craft 10 army bandages that take 16 minutes to craft. It does require 5 aseptic bandages and 1 bottle of vodka. And now onto the nutritional units level 1. You can now craft 2 cans of beef stew which is the Tshunker variant that you need for your task. It will take 1 hour and 18 minutes to craft and it requires 1 can of delicious beef stew, 1 squash spread as well as 1 rye croutons. Onto the med station. With med station level 2 you can craft yourself 1 blood set, it does take 27 minutes to craft and it costs 1 silicon tube and 2 disposable syringes. On to med station tier 3, you can now craft 2 SJ6s, it will cost you 1 SJ1, 2 pile of meds and 1 saline solution and it takes 1 hour and 25 minutes to craft. You, you can now craft 2 survival kits, it takes 1 hour and 16 minutes, it costs you 1 set of tools and 6 pile of meds. With these additions to the hideout, this is actually a pretty good one, definitely for the Tashankas. I'm actually kind of having a bit of issue with that one. And the survival kits are definitely a brilliant addition. Now quickly onto a hideout crafting change. With the med station tier 2 you can craft pile of meds. Before it used to be 2 but now it's 3 and it costs you 1 AI2 kit, 1 aseptic bandage and 1 argumentin antibiotic pill. Now on to ballistic changes. 9x19 AP 6.3 has had its penetration increased from 29 to 30. And now on to the 9x21s. The SP10 has had its penetration increased from 32 to 35. The SP11 has had its damage reduced from 70 to 65, but its penetration increased from 16 to 18. The SP12 has had its damage increase from 78 to 80, as well as its penetration increase from 14 to 15. The SP13 has had its damage increase from 62 to 63, and the penetration increase from 36 to 39. Now on to ghost changes. You can only hold 5 bitcoins in your inventory now, where before it was unlimited, now you can only hold 5, I'm assuming it's kind of stopping the IRL trading. And a change to the cap of requirements no longer requires hypocritic vow, regulated materials, the stylish one, textiles part 1 and part 2, and now trust regain. And that is the end of today's news. 
Guys, don't forget to join the Discord where there is unofficial patch notes. I just want to say thank you very much for watching this. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I do stream over on twitch.tv slash prana underscore seven days a week starting at 8am GMT. Also, don't forget to check out the spreadsheet, especially with Ripe that's just arrived. It's got all of my tasks, key guides, extracts, gun builds, all on there that will link you to all of the YouTube videos. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.